Familial Exudative Vitreal Retinopathy, FEVR, slash 5 year slash FEVR, is a genetic disorder affecting the growth and development of blood vessels in the retina of the eye. This disease can lead to visual impairment and sometimes complete blindness in one or both eyes. FEVR is characterized by exudative leakage and hemorrhage of the blood vessels in the retina, along with incomplete vascularization of the peripheral retina. The disease process can lead to retinal folds, tears, and detachments. Diagnosis FEVR is, as its name suggests, familial and can be inherited in an autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, or X-linked recessive pattern. Point one 3 It is caused by mutations in FCD4, LRP5, TSPAN12 and NDP genes, which impact the wingless-slash-integrated, WNT, receptor signaling pathway. 3. Disruption of this pathway leads to abnormalities of vascular growth in the peripheral retina. 2. 3. It is typically bilateral, but asymmetric, with varying degrees of progression over the individual's lifetime. Age of onset varies, and visual outcome can be strongly influenced by this factor. Patients with onset before age 3 have a more guarded long-term prognosis whereas those with later onset are more likely to have asymmetric presentation with deterioration of vision in one eye only. 2 to 3 however, because FEVR is a lifelong disease, these patients are at risk even as adults. Point 2 ocular findings and useful vision typically remain stable if the patient does not have deterioration before age 20.2,4 due to the variability and unpredictability of the disease course. Patients with FEVR should be followed throughout their lifetime. Clinical presentation can vary greatly. In mild variations, patients may experience peripheral vascular changes, such as peripheral avascular zone, vitreoretinal adhesions, arteriovenous anastomosis, and a V-shaped area of retinochoroidal degeneration. Four severe forms may present with neovascularization, subretinal and intraretinal hemorrhages and exudation. For neovascularization is a poor prognostic indicator and can lead to retinal folds, macular ectopia and tractional retinal detachment. 2,4 Widefield FA has been crucial in helping to understand this disease, as well as helping to confirm the diagnosis. An abrupt cessation of the retinal capillary network in a scalloped edge posterior to fibrovascular proliferations can be made using FA.2,3,5 patients can also show delayed transit filling on FA as well as delayed slash patchy choroidal filling, bulbous vascular terminals, capillary dropout, venous slash venous shunting and abnormal branching patterns. 2,3,5 The staging of FEVR is similar to that of retinopathy of prematurity. The first two stages involve an avascular retinal periphery with or without extraretinal vascularization, stage 1 and 2, respectively. Four stages 3 through 5 delineate levels of retinal detachment, stage 3 is subtotal without foveal involvement, stage 4 is subtotal with foveal involvement and stage 5 is a total detachment, open or closed funnel point 4 because there was neovascularization in the absence of retinal detachment, our patient was considered to have stage 2. Treatment Treatment is based on the stage of the disease. Stage 1 does not require treatment and should be observed. For neovascularization, stage 2, responds well to laser ablation or cryotherapy. 2,4 eyes with retinal detachments, stages 3 through 5, require surgery, with earlier stages requiring scleral buckles and later stages ultimately needing vitrectomy. 2,4 more recently, the efficacy of anti-VEGF intravitreal injections has been studied. In one study, these injections, as an in adjunct with laser, helped early stages achieve stabilization, but further investigation is needed. Point six. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.